So in 2005, I was playing professional women's soccer in Brazil. Uh, the field was a 45 minute walk away and most days we hitchhiked. Um, I just remember standing there with my thumb out on the side of the road thinking, here I am playing for Santos. That's Brazil's most famous club. That's home to Pelé. Um, and we're hitchhiking to practice. Uh, the summer was an adventure in every way and it made me wonder what the game looks like in the rest of the world. Um, what stories are out there? Uh, when I watch the Women's World Cup, it always occurs to me that I have no idea what any of their lives are like. Um, who knows what it means to be a professional women's soccer player in, say, Nigeria. Um, so Under the Lights and In the Dark takes a look inside the lives of women soccer players all around the world. There's Ali Long, who spends her off seasons playing in an underground immigrant men's league in New York, where there's a lot of money on the line. Um, a ringer in that league can make more in a couple of weeks than some U.S. pro women's players make in an, in an entire season. Um, there's a pro team in Russia that promises women high salaries. Uh, so these women come from all over the world, uh, but they have no idea what they're in for when they get there. Uh, there's Farrah Williams. Uh, she was homeless while she was playing on the full English national team. Uh, now she's a star and she coaches homeless players. And I look at a friendship she has with a homeless teenager who she takes under her wing. Um, there's Nadia Nadim, whose father was executed by the Taliban. Uh, she fled to Denmark and learned how to play at refugee camp. Um, in another chapter, there's uh, I take a look at the, the lives of players who quit at, at their peak. I mean, 24 and 25 year olds who are unbelievably gifted, but who give up the game because they can't make a sustainable living. Uh, I take a look at what they're doing now and how their new lives relate or don't relate to their old lives. Um, to me, what's so interesting about women's professional soccer uh, is that nobody playing it ever thought they would be famous or would make money. Like the only reason why they play is because they love it. Uh, and that to me is the game at its best.